Alright guys, hope you're enjoying this series. Before I start, uh, we are planning on doing another of the contrast journal things. Did it quite a while ago as Poland, I don't know if any of you remember. But um, yeah, doing a new one, I think it's going to be as Babylon, actually using my difficulty mod as well. So the idea is that everyone plays the same uh, save file and then we can all compare, you know, different strategies and stuff. See, you know, it's a good way of learning new things, um, ways to get better and stuff. I think it is going to be on Deity, but feel free to join in anyway, uh, even if you wouldn't normally play on that. Just, yeah, it's a good way of learning shit, and should be fun if we get quite a few people involved. So I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And my plan is to actually play, um, play it myself on stream. So depending on when the, the deadline is, I'll do it probably either this weekend or some point in the next week. So yeah, if you guys play it, and then you can watch me play it in the live stream. That is my plan. Right, hope you enjoy. Yo, guys, welcome back to Polynesia. So, we are in this war with Egypt. Um, didn't really want to be, but it's actually going quite well. Uh, we haven't actually taken any casualties yet, and we're certainly weakening them quite a bit. These guys do a really nice job with the extra, they basically do 20 extra damage. Um, when we use them. Ah, oh, they're unhappy actually, so they're getting minus 10% combat strength. That's quite nice, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm going to make one more Spearman. A uh, bit annoying thing, this War Weariness production penalty seems very, very large. 3.5% um, War Weariness is equating to 35% production penalty somehow. Which is pretty ridiculous, so I'm going to build a Spearman right now, um, and then I probably won't build any more. The reason I want to get a Spearman is because uh, we can then upgrade them into the Mari Warriors, and the Mari Warriors don't have formation. So we kind of need them to be Spearman upgraded in order to actually have the formation promotion. Um, yes. So my plan is really just to try and win this war. I've kind of given up on the whole Borobudur thing. I think we're just too late. Just going to go Chivalry instead, get Maori Warriors. And we can also, if we can get this alliance with Belgrade, we can get some Narasuans Elephants once we have Chivalry as well. So that would be a pretty nice army. Pretty, you know... <laughs> Mixed up army, but definitely a good one. And then I would like to probably get like education and uh, theology after that. The Grand Temple has been nerfed, so it's not as much of a necessity as it used to be. It doesn't actually give the plus two culture anymore, um, which meant normally it's something I would go for straight away as like the first medieval thing. But I don't think we need it this time. Yeah, chivalry will be nice. We can make sure we get castles and everything everywhere. I wouldn't say. I have played this perfectly because a couple of... Th I actually think Hanging Gardens was a mistake. I think I should have just gone for sailing or writing because our science is much lower than it should be. And um, if we had one of them, we might have been able to actually try for Borobudur. And also, policy choice. I went the wrong... You know, I said I probably should have gone for this one earlier. But also, I think maybe authority just would have been better. Uh, the fact that we're not getting anywhere near as much gold is a big difference um, in terms of actually getting buildings built, which is what you kind of need to do as progress. Whereas authority, that's not a problem because you get so much production in every city from the tribute policy and um, just the base production yield. So we actually probably would have been more developed as progress right now. And obviously we've ended up in this war anyway because we're very close to Egypt. So progress might have to just be reserved for like uh, fish games now due to the less money from uh, selling resources. I actually did get reasonable money for selling stuff to the Aztecs, I think. Got 16 gold for a dies and 9 horses. That was the best available. Uh, yeah, building a settler here. Probably two more cities down here, one city in here. We'll go as wide as we can. We'll have to look after happiness, obviously, but uh, we'll be good. Yeah, to be as wide as possible, and we're close to this pot requirement as well, so we'll hopefully build that soon. I guess I will build this first. 
And one last thing, actually, I want to buy... Shit, they actually have a great general there. Well, I would like to buy this square as well. Uh, next turn. And then if we great general from here, we're right on their border, aren't we? I mean, we already could hit them with a cannon from here. But yeah, I'll try and get my great general in this position and use him here. Then we're seriously on their shit. All right, 37. Plus 37, plus 20. This should be enough, I think. Oh, but he only did 30 damage. Alright, whatever. Let's do this then. He should be safe there. Um. Thinking we just go like that. Repair that road. Bring him over. Building more statues, of course. Okay, reasonable shit down there. So, yeah, got some missions to do. Try and get gems if we can. We've got a trade route mission and a mission for Great Engineer. So if we get them both at the same time, uh, that will give us the alliance with Buenos Aires, which would be nice. Yeah, if we conquer Memphis, we get this, which is also really good. And we'll keep an eye out. We've got one for six arenas as well. We'll obviously try and do that. And I also actually have some faith. Um, I guess I send a missionary over there first. Oh, I probably should have waited because we'll go fealty. Oh well. Not a huge difference. They're in medieval. Okay. Hell yeah. Get fucked, mate. Ah, oh, this guy's in some problems. Okay. Twenty three plus thirty one plus twenty. Technically, should be enough.
Nice. Yeah, man, I really like having the orders in the cities for the bonus combat strength. They actually have some boats over here. Should be fine, though. Ooh. I will take the production, as I always do, which is super useful. Um, okay. So I need to make sure there's no boats over here. Let's have some nice borders, even though it did cost us a fair amount of money. Hopefully it's worth it. Okay. Yeah, glad we killed that great general. I mean, now all we gotta do is just get this guy here. We get some more horses as well, some deer in range of the city. Pretty reasonable. Let's actually put him here. Defend this guy. Yeah, I might try and get this guy in here. really want that. He actually technically could die. If they really tried to kill him. Um, So our connection back for extra science. Do we not get a connection here? Mm, built that lighthouse for no real reason then. Okay, let's get a library here now. Go on then. Might need to buy some resources as well. I'm surprised we don't have a city connection there. I mean... You can see the whole way around there. I guess it's blocked off by Egypt. Hmm. I guess if I could see this, then we could, the connection would go through there. Hopefully. <laughs> Don't know exactly how it works. Okay. Nice.
Do I try and do this great general now then? How far are we away? Not excessively... I have heard it can be difficult to peace out with people. Which could be a problem. Let's do it now, I think. Mm, nah. Alright, we want them to come in a bit, to be honest. So we can actually kill them. Obviously, if they just chill there, it's pretty hard. Could actually have some more moist statues over here. Um, okay, let's get that first. Probably what this guy should have done. Um, this guy will probably end up heading them over to Belgrade. Okay, we actually need a lot of influence with them. So, yeah. Might possibly buy that. Would I actually work it? I mean, Cool, and they came forward a bit here. It's pretty much what we wanted. A few of these guys should have survivalism free in not too long. I actually, when I was doing practice games, the city states were not actually killing off uh, Barb Camp, so I'm hoping they won't kill that one. Not a huge deal if they do. We do have the arena quest, so we'll try and do that. Got the Scrivener's one done, hopefully we'll get one for the School of Philosophy as well. And there's also Heroic Epic to be built. I think, uh, yeah, they were offering a reasonable amount. 
Very close. This is going very well, isn't it? To be honest. Some of these border growths are not the best. I would love to sort out these path camps. Uh, don't have any spare units right now. Alright, let's heal this guy. Nice, we got that square here. Let's do this arena quest. Uh, we'll build libraries first, I suppose. Although we've got loads of good squares to work here. So probably not there. Here, here we should build the library, I think. Oh, we do have the connection now. Nice. It just was waiting a turn. We should get the one here next turn then. Ah, this settler. Where the fuck was he going? <laughs> I suppose I kind of have to put one here, right? Here and here or something? These peninsula areas are pretty amazing for the Moy statues. As we shall hopefully see. That's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Also, I don't really like that. We've got enough decent locations, and if we can do some conquering as well, we'll have plenty of cities. Alright, we might be close to getting that. Is that guy anywhere near there? She kind of is. <laughs> There's more city states for us to meet though. I mean, how many have we met? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I lost where I was. Six, ten. There's one more city state for us to meet. We have met 15. There should be 16. I don't give a shit. Oh yeah, we need to sort out our diplomacy as well. Friends with France, Egypt and Germany. Yes, let us work together. Maybe you can give me some of your gems as well. Getting boats, feels good. I wonder if he'll sell it for relatively cheap then. No. Fine. Send this guy over to France. We've got to convert them at some point before the Aztecs do. 
Or I could just wait with this guy until medieval era, where he'll get 20 influence for the spread. Um... Well, I want to convert France anyway, I think. Cool. More statues. Could easily be a city-state in here. Easily. Probably take fealty next turn, so no need to do this. I'd like a monument there. Okay, maybe we'll get whatever resource we need from that if we're not able to get gems. Who else has gems? Assyria as well. Halaka Damik. That could be worth considering, you know. Okay, they're trying a new angle here. Understandable. Not gonna work, I'm afraid. Do some rows over there. Alright, time for fealty as well. Probably will only take one in fealty. I think I want to go statecraft. I think we can get a lot of city state alliances. And we'll get to use a new spy system as well. Uh, we definitely want the monasteries in certain places. Bonus science. Oh, that's a lot better timing, isn't it? Getting to uh, chivalry. I could do that quest in a little bit actually. Send over some missionaries and this guy to Belgrade. Okay, let's do this first. Lots of nice squares here, like I said. Sorry, taking this a bit slow. I don't really want to fuck it up for no reason. Let's get that.
Ah, nice, some help. Very safe. Cool. So, yeah, another missionary now, I think. Three spreads, plus this guy, plus the mission, should definitely be enough. Probably too much, if anything. And it should be relatively similar time to 15 turns, so we get that alliance as we get Shibori, and then the next unit we get would be the Narasuans. Um, okay, Arena. Dude, I really need to buy stuff here. <laughs> I can't just let it build crappy stuff slowly. Smashed him. Okay, let's go like that. All right, this is feeling much, much better. need this guy as well. Probably buy that school of philosophy to get it done a bit quicker. Might as well send them all roughly together. It doesn't actually matter if it reduces strength, although we, we might as well convert since if we do, we'll get better rewards from them. Hopefully, I don't need to worry about France. Mm. Maybe I do, though. <laughs> This would actually buff the iron, even though there's no mine on it. Yeah, I need good production here. I want to build some boats there, actually. It's not giving me easy things. So he's going to be crap for a while as well. Right, we need a resource, I'm guessing. Really? Really? 
Actually, I could trade this guy because right, he wants this anyway. Enough. Fuck it, dude. I don't need iron. That seems like the best deal we're going to get. I mean, he's not talking about this city, is he? There's no fucking way. That wouldn't make any sense. I believe we can smash this guy. Nice. Could also probably kill him. Um, Need that guy to die. Yep, we can do both of those quests. Cool. Uh, yeah. Come on, let's have a monastery there. Okay, University of San Cornell. So not actually a particularly early Borobuda. Still would have been difficult though. Ah, oh, we finally have survivalism. That's just what I was hoping that we would have actually. I need to retreat a bit. Let them come in so that we can kill them again. Oh wow, you actually get the gold for doing that now. I'm pretty sure you didn't used to. I just don't want them to spawn us with a boat here. Get my trade route pillaged. I'm actually going to attack him. The fuck, man. Ah, oh, I should explore this. Even though it didn't matter for that connection, but it could be somewhat useful. Engineer, where are you going? I guess clearing that marsh would be nice. Let's get that done. 
yeah, then we could potentially work it with this place, which, like I said, I would like to build boats here. That makes good sense to me. Yeah, we're not doing that. I mean, I could probably build a wall in like one turn here. Yes, we should build all this stuff. Samoa, okay. And this place. Way better off working that. that. Cool. Okay, the city grew as well. Oh no, we're not finishing that yet. Um, yeah, we can do that. Okay, yeah, we haven't been clearing out units. Now there's loads of them. These guys being across this river is a problem. I think I actually... I'm gonna kill this guy first. Very nice. Pretty damn good city over here. That guy needs to get through before the open border, the border closes because I don't think he can get through without open borders whereas the missionaries can. Okay, unhappiness is a problem. Could just send a missionary up to Malacca. Once we get to medieval, just one spread would be enough to get this alliance back. At least for the moment. How do we have three wall ruiners? From seven and a half percent. And now I hmm. Could be some issues here. 
if they're not going to peace out and the war weariness is going to be this punishing. Okay. Um, okay, uh, this is still fine, <laughs> try and get that citadel done soon then, now that we have the second uh, great general. Nice, definitely need statues around here. Send this guy across the land. Are we buying anything? I say, yeah, we'll buy this. Ooh. Take them from barbarians. That's a good way of getting that alliance as well. And we got this alliance, and then we also get the next quest for um, a trade route. So it's good to keep doing the quest as quickly as possible, so that we can get another one. Someone needs to build an arena as well. I guess it's going to have to be here. They ain't giving up, are they? Okay, I can build an order there as well.
I think we just be safe here because losing units not fun would increase our war weariness more as well. That is done. Okay. Yep, let's get that next. Oh, he's not gonna fucking peace out with me. I saw I saw it as a bug on one of the reports. I mean, we can't afford an infinite war, dude. Our happiness is already bad. Correct, mate. I can actually do this, right? Yeah, that's an easier way. He gets stuck in there, he's in some shit actually. So I won't do that. Um this guy saying not killable eval. Okay, there must be a city-state in this region then. Four turns until chivalry. We need another trade route for Manila. What is that, dude? Minus 75%? What? <laughs> That's ridiculous. For 7% war weariness. That cannot be correct. How are they even building new units, man? They must have more than me, I could lose their units. Um, okay, we get the barracks next. Stay in the ocean, we can't be touched right now. Okay, I don't know, just checking. This cannot be right. <laughs> that we literally can't build new units during a war that we have not even taken that much damage in. 
and they don't seem to want to piece out. I mean, I get, obviously, they were piecing out too early before, but this seems like they are a bit too willing to stay in the war, if anything. Free culture squares over here. Don't actually need this anymore. Kill that guy one day. He's dead. Great news. Ah, oh, they're gonna kill that camp for me as well. I appreciate that. Quite a bit actually. A lot of statues being built. And we get a great scientist as well. Another great engineer mission, really. That sucks a bit, actually. I should actually build this before we go new era. I can probably... actually do it after this. I mean, I would love to help them out. <laughs> Maybe try with that guy, I suppose. So, are we killing a unit here? Yep, go on them. I reckon we can kill this guy. 25, 50, 50. I believe in it. Okay, a scientist. Um, maybe somewhere around one of these cities they have kind of too many people. Like this square, something like that. Okay, I need that. Also want to buy this. A 
And we can do this first. Get this done on one turn. Maybe I'll be able to settle it here. Still need one more, don't I? And then another one up there. Could just do it here. <laughs> it's the kind of the city I've been rinsing to build settlers in. Right, let's do it here. So I wanted to build this cargo ship before we go medieval because it will cost more uh, once we get there. Oh. I forgot to keep checking for gems to be honest. Alright, area is actually cleaned up over here. Great to see. Definitely need this water mill here, so we can get some production, and we can build all the moist statues down here now. Do you know what, I think I should end this part here, because um, this flipping wariness stuff is quite ridiculous. I don't think it's correct. Like, I don't see how having 8% war in it should give you 80% uh, like construction speed on military units and 16 war in it as well is very significant like <laughs> that seems like a bit too much um, for 8% like it's supposed to go up to 75% so what's even the point of the next like 70% of it if it's going to be this high at this level um yeah so we'll investigate that but we are getting to chivalry Borobuda still hasn't actually gone but people are getting quite far through medieval era so they're just deciding not to build it yet uh you got university of sangor they got alhambra he's gonna build bloody forbidden palace before i get there isn't he Oh well though, we'll get chivalry, um, that will be nice, that will allow us to build some stables, get some Maori warriors, and we will do all the stuff over here to get these guys as our ally. Um, we'll build the heroic epic, we'll use the emissary, and we'll do some conversions. See if we can actually convert them to our religion. And we'll get 20 influence for each bread we do. So that should be more than enough. Um, ooh, look at this lovely area. Four culture per tile. Or on that tile. Yeah, it might even be worth building one here because that would be plus six culture on this tile. So probably definitely worth it actually. <laughs> Um, okay, might well do that. Hopefully we can peace out of this war at some point, get this great general down here. Have a good time, and yeah, we'll finish off the arena quest as well. I would like to build one more spearman, uh, so that I can upgrade it to a Maori warrior with the formation. Three should be a decent amount, like we 
probably aren't going to be able to use too many. Uh, we're going to be getting Nara soon, hopefully, and I want to build some boats up here as well to support us if we are attacking Egypt. Are they actually mates with anyone? Korea and Germany. So basically both are mates, right? Relationship with France hasn't gone too well. Maybe I denounce the Aztecs, actually. Yeah, I think we're just deciding not to be mates with Aztecs. Obviously conquering France would be decent, but Egypt would be better and potentially easier as well. Alright, cool. Well, yeah, I feel like we're in a better spot, even though we're kind of slipping down the list here, and we're definitely slipping behind on tech. These guys are not far away from it, uh, Renaissance, which is slightly worrying. But it is what it is. Um, yeah. I think we're doing alright. Though they will have heavy skirmishes soon, <laughs> which won't be fun. We can go education, Oxford University, we're actually not far away from being able to build. The chanceries will be really nice, uh, given that we should have probably five alliances, if not more, six maybe. So yeah, that'll be really, really good. Um, yeah, should be good stuff. Alright guys, I will see you in the next part.